Storm Tracker weather starts now with Jason Laird. Well, good morning, friends. Tracking another windy day throughout north central Montana. We're waking up to sustained winds at about 22 miles per hour in Great Falls, 16 along the High Line. And of course, those winds are going to continue to bump those air temperatures here. Very mild start to the day already as you're heading out 48 in Great Falls, mid 40s for Cutbank. Cooler though into uh, the uh, High Line region again, north central Montana there, uh, Havard at about 37. And again, it's all just due to the wind today. As that wind comes over the mountains, it compresses, heats up, sinks down, and that keeps those air temperatures a little bit more mild. So uh, first half of the day is definitely going to be the windiest. I would say sustained winds around 20 miles per hour as the day plays out. They're going to stay pretty brisk, but they'll kind of taper off later this afternoon. Sustained winds out of the west southwest at about mm, 10 to 15 miles per hour on average. Still a little bit gusty though. Could see those wind gusts today. I would say around 30 miles per hour throughout north central Montana. Stronger though, right up against the Rocky Mountain front. Today's forecast, very mild day. There's some temperatures we haven't seen in a while. Looking at the low 50s across the board, 52 in Great Falls, 54 in the capital, low 50s along the High Line. This evening, still going to be a little bit chilly. We're hitting those overnight lows actually. Uh, pretty late into the morning. So like today, for instance, we're going to start to see those temperatures taper off over the next hour or so before climbing back up this afternoon. So same story here this evening, 31 in Great Falls, 29 in the capital and looking at a couple of high 20s along the high line tomorrow. More wind on tap, so a high wind watch is set to go into effect tomorrow morning. I'll be pretty shocked if they don't bump that up to a high wind warning just due to the very windy conditions. So tomorrow we'll have a kind of brief ridge of high pressure amplify, but a cold front in the afternoon is really what's going to help contribute to those stronger winds. And uh, we'll likely see a couple of showers into the mountains. A few of them may make their way into the plains, but very spotty, isolated, kind of hit and miss showers throughout the day. Just windy. That wind will continue to drive temperatures, though. 58 in Great Falls, 56 tomorrow in the capital with a couple of 60s throughout the eastern plains. And tomorrow Tomorrow's wind gust forecast again. It's going to ramp up. We'll see those winds get up to likely 40 to 50 in the terms of wind gusts tomorrow with the passage of that cold front early afternoon and very strong wind taking us into the evening again as that cold front kind of settles in across the state, eventually letting up a little bit, but I do anticipate it's going to stay a little bit breezy even on Halloween. So highs on Halloween Saturday, we're looking at about 45 in Grave Falls, 47 in the capital. Cooler, you'll notice, and that's just that pocket of colder air following the cold front. Uh, keeping those temperatures a little bit more mild for us over the next seven days, though, we are going to see high pressure rebuild this weekend. So 52 today, warmer tomorrow, still a little bit breezy, likely this weekend, about 45 on Halloween. Don't forget, roll the clocks back and then a strong ridge of high pressure is going to build next week. That will push temperatures back into the 60s, at least through Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. Not 100% sold on that yet. 54 today in the capital. More sun clearing skies. Halloween cooling things off following that cold front and 53 on Sunday, Shannon.